Hey guys, and welcome aboard to a mediocre makeup tutorial. I feel pretty good today. I immediately got up, made breakfast, made coffee, set up this little station. I was like, all right, filming day, let's go. You can read the title, so I'm not gonna do a long intro. Let's just hop right into this. The first thing I'm going to apply is primer and this is like the holy grail of all primers the luminous putty primer from elf and i did already take a shower and wash and moisturize my face i think that's super important to have like a fresh clean palette i didn't always use to moisturize before doing my makeup but i realized like you just need something to like kind of fill your pores so your foundation doesn't just sit in your pores if that makes sense try to just focus on like my t-zone when I'm putting on primer and foundation for obvious reasons. This primer really does just add like a nice glow and it's not tacky. I like that about this primer too. Put a shit ton of it on my eyelids. You know they be creasing and I know like you're not supposed to like pull your eyelids or whatever, but oh my God. I'm so bad at this. I just like forget all of those little important things. But one thing I do try to do is only push up on my face. You don't want to drag your face down when you're doing skincare. <laughs> I just looked ridiculous when I did that. <laughs> Primer is on. I like to let that sit for like about a minute before I put on my foundation. And I'm going in with this wet and wild photo focus foundation in the dewy version i think they have a matte version too in shell ivory kind of crazy for this but i like using foundation that's a shade lighter than my skin tone i think if you use a shade lighter you can kind of cut out using concealer that's just me being a cheap bitch and trying to think of how i can like shortcut a makeup routine it's honestly kind of smart because then if you cover your whole face in foundation anyway and then you do a bunch of contour where you put the foundation is just going to be lighter already so yeah i just like using a shade lighter and i'm going to use my fingers to rub this in i read this in like one of my mom's beauty magazines when i was like a little kid first interested in like makeup but your fingers are honestly your best tools in your makeup kit because they're warm and they just blend everything so much better. I mean, each to their own. If you like using a brush and a sponge, it works, but I personally think that this just gets a way better, more natural looking blend. And I do blend it into my neck, but I don't worry about it too much because let's be honest with what I'm about to do. Everyone knows I'm wearing a shit ton of makeup. Like as long as it's blended, it doesn't have to look so perfect. Oh, it is all over my lips, but whatever, we'll fix that later. So the next step is a little bit of cream contour and I'm going to be using this dual ended contour stick from Wet n Wild. And I like to put it like kind of high up on my cheekbone, not you know, when you suck in, you can see that line, not right there, just a little bit higher. Definitely think it helps bring the face up a little bit. And I'll put a little bit right there on like the crease of my eye, because I think it gives you that nice like woof eye look. A little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my nose, kind of make it look- If the men find out we can shape shift, they're going to tell the church. Eliminate the nose. You can pretend that you have no nostrils. Men will be bewitched and hand over their- Okay, so after the cream contour, I'm going to be setting my face a little bit with a highlighter. And I know some people like to mix liquid highlighters with their foundation. I've never really tried that, but I like just doing a little bit of powder highlighter. My face tends to crease a lot, so a little bit more powder is better. And it's just going to be this Sephora in Stardust 01. I've had this for so long, but I love this highlighter because it's just like, it's not glittery, it's not too much. It's just a nice little gold shine. And I'll literally just put it everywhere. 
and I'm using this wet and wild big like powder brush that I got in a Pac-Man collab. Okay, after a little bit of highlighter, I'm going to actually set my face and I'm just using this wet and wild contour palette. And I'm going to be making a slight three shape with the darker shade here. And that's just how I like to do my contour. When I do the three here on my cheekbone, I do like to bring it up into my temple area a little bit. Next, I'm going to be doing my brows. And one thing about my brows is I do pluck them a tiny bit, but I've never had them waxed. And I feel like I'm kind of rare like saying that. I feel like every girl got them waxed around like prom season in high school, but I just never did. So the only thing I really do to them that I think makes a huge difference is I dye them black every couple weeks and I use beard dye. So I'll insert a photo of the beard dye that I use just like them darker. I just think it looks good. Something I'll never go back. Like I'm always gonna do it till the day I die. I'm just gonna fill them in a little bit with this Wet n' Wild retractable brow pencil. I'm going to, let me get real close for this. I'm going to draw a line like where I want my brow to be defined. Literally just draw a line and then fill it in and you'll see at the end, I'll like blend it and make it look good. And it looks crazy, but just wait. You just wait. See, just drawing lines of where I want my brows to be. And then we're gonna go back and fill that in. Now they're completely filled in. I look insane. This is where I go back and blend and it's kind of weird. Where I drew those lines and filled it in the front, I'm just gonna take my fingers and kind of blend it up and into the brow. And you kind of want to do it a lot right here at the beginning because you want that nice fade from light to dark. And basically just wiping away half of what I just did. So next I'm going to wet this fully and dip it into this bar of soap and just fluff them up. And you just want to be really soft with this step. Unless you do your brows first before your foundation, you can easily F up your foundation in this step. So now my brows are locked and loaded into place. Now to start the scary part, the black eyeshadow. So before I completely cover my eyes in black eyeshadow, I'm going to bake my under eye section. One, to avoid creasing. And then two, if I have any fallout of the black eyeshadow, I can just easily wipe it away later. So I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder to bake. And I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes. This is going to be like the hot take, the tip and trick of the day. Making a black eyeshadow shape for hooded eyes. Now I have hooded eyes and my eyes are kind of also like low and high looking. Yeah, I know. The best trick that I've come across ever, I saw on Joanna Spicer's Get Ready With Me YouTube video and I'll link that video down below. And she basically says, look directly into the mirror and then draw your cat wing or your eye shape, whatever you're doing, eyeshadow or eyeliner. Because then when you're opening your eyes and you're looking at someone, it's where you want it to be. So when you close your eyes, it might look a little weird, but when you open your eyes, you'll get that perfect shape that you want. That'll create kind of like a cat eye lifting effect. Hydrate real quick. So I'm going to create the shape of where I want my eyeshadow, kind of make an outline with just like a black eyeliner pencil. And all of the like text is completely worn off of this. I've had this pencil for, I don't even want to admit how long I've had this. Okay, so I'm going to look directly into my mirror and draw the shape. See, it kind of looks crazy, kind of looks messy, but it follows your waterline or your lower lash line and goes directly up. From there, I'm just going to fill it in about halfway across my eye. Again, with hooded eyelids or like lower eyes, you kind of want to create that like cat eye effect. So everything kind of gets lifted, your eyes look longer. It's just going to really do your eyes justice. I tried like the inner corner wing before. I've tried bringing my eyeliner all the way over and fading it into the inner corner. It just doesn't work for me. I can only go about halfway. I'll try to show you what I just did. Still looks kind of crazy, but it'll work out in the end. Now that I kind of have the shape, I'm gonna go in with just some black eyeshadow and blend that out. So I'm actually just gonna use the black eyeshadow called 
Magic Dowser in this Coraline palette I literally got from Hot Topic. <laughs> this is why I called it a bootleg <laughs> makeup tutorial. I definitely think that I got inspiration for these kind of looks when I first watched Skins. It's all Effie Stoneham or like Jenny Humphrey from Gossip Girl. I don't know. I've always wanted to do my makeup like this, but I've always been kind of like intimidated. Like people will think I'm like trying too hard or trying to be someone I'm not. And I used to kind of think like being grunge, like you had to wear like fishnets and smoke cigs and go to like local band shows in a basement. And I've done all those things, but like, I don't think that like makes you grunge. I think it's all about just like, if you like the makeup, if you like the fashion, then you can just wear it and you can just be confident in it because it makes you happy. I think that's really all that matters. Like, I hate that people kind of put so much stress into, oh, you have to find like your one aesthetic or the one way you dress to have like your perfect closet and it makes everything so much easier. And I don't like that, fuck that. You can be a skater one day. You can be an e-girl the other day. You can be looking like you're straight out of the 70s and you hang out with Fleetwood Mac another day. like. I just really think that you're constantly changing and evolving and that's okay. That's what life should be. I'm going to slowly take it into my crease just a tiny bit. I don't want to overdo this because then let's be honest, I'll end up looking like Lee from Animal Crossing. Okay, see how I kind of have the shape now? It's a little bit like a cat eye with almost like a cut crease effect. So next I'm gonna be taking some brown eyeshadow and blending all of that in. Or I shouldn't say blending it in, blending it out. Here's kind of what it's starting to look like as I'm blending it with some brown. So in the center of my lid, you want to use something with a little bit of shine, a little bit of glitter. I know a lot of people think grunge makeup has to be like completely matte. I disagree. So I'm gonna be taking this like shiny, almost like silver kind of color from this e.l.f. palette. What is the name of this? Truffles, that's a cute name. That's a perfect name for this palette. Okay, so right, like if you're looking directly ahead, you want to literally put it like right over your pupil. And I think this is nice, like when you're having like a conversation with someone, it will attract their eye to like look at your makeup and be like, ooh, like it's just like something to look at, like something to be like intrigued by. And I love that. So I'm also going to like just slightly blend it into that brown. I think like grunge makeup, like you want that like flawless airbrushed face, but then you make it look like you got no sleep. Okay, so I just did all of those steps to my other eye off camera and now I'm just going to kind of finish up the blending and put some tan and cream colored eyeshadow in my inner corner. I'm using this e.l.f. clay eyeshadow palette. This is probably my favorite eyeshadow palette just because since it's made with clay, it never creases. Never. Next, I'm going to do my lower lash line with just a little bit of black eyeshadow and then blend it out with the brown. So before I wipe away my under eye baking powder, I'm just going to blend in all this eyeshadow with my fingers. I feel like this step really takes it from like looking like drag makeup to looking like grunge makeup. It's basically like you spend so much time creating that shape and making it look perfect and then you mess it all up at the end. Okay, so now I'm just going to wipe away my baking powder, which is pretty much like all soaked into my face at this point. And then I'm gonna go in with, I was talking about this earlier, the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collab. And I'm gonna use this little bit of this kind of contour shade and then this peachy shade. This one, I don't know if you can see that, actually has some glitter in it. So that's gonna be like a kind of like highlight and blush. And I'm gonna put this on my temple and work it down onto the apples of my cheeks. Just touching up the contour, cause let's be honest, that's the most important part other than the black eyeshadow. And for mascara, I'm going to use 
Maybelline the Rocket Volume Express and on my bottom lashes CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. Lash Blast. That's hard to say. But this one has like mineral oils and like argon oil in it, I think. So this one I think really helps my eyelashes grow. So definitely recommend this one by CoverGirl. And then I go heavy on the mascara on the outer corners. Just go from this side. I'll also close my eyes and go down and cover both sides of my eyelashes in mascara. I refuse to let myself buy falsies and get into fake eyelashes because then I know there's no going back. So to get all the foundation off of my lips, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Brown Sugar Lip Scrub. I love this stuff since it comes in like a lipstick tube. You can just literally use it to exfoliate and remove foundation all in one step. And then you can just eat it. <laughs> it tastes so good. <laughs> and I think it's just brown sugar and coconut oil, so it's like totally safe. Then for lip liner, which I only started using lip liner like recently, just an elf kind of like dark wine colored lip pencil. It doesn't even have the name on it. And I will overline my lips just a tiny bit. I will exaggerate my cupid's bow. Some people like to round out their cupid's bow. I like to exaggerate it. It makes me look very like 1950s. I'm actually gonna go in and just fill in like the center with my lip liner. I saw someone do this and I think it puts down like a nice base of color for your lipstick. If you put a darker shade in the center, it kind of gives you that like vampire, just like drank some blood type of look. So for the lipstick, I'm using this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse in the shade Death Valley. This lipstick is literally the best drugstore, whatever you want to call it, lipstick ever. I went to Hibachi with this lipstick on and it stayed on the entire time. And I like the applicator. It's kind of like rounded. So it like just sits on your lips so nice when you're applying it. And if I need, I'll just go back and touch up or I'll go back and blend, but that is literally my full-blown makeup routine. I love to spend a lot of time on my makeup. If I have the time, I will literally spend like a full hour, like hour and a half. I know that's a little embarrassing, but like I just love it. It's like just therapeutic. It's like a ritual to me. Um, last but not least, using a Wet n Wild Mega Glow Face Mist for setting spray. Sometimes I'll just use my like Witch Hazel Spray as setting spray like I don't really think it matters as long as there's something over top so the powder is just not getting everywhere like when you're on the phone and stuff like that and i wanted to show you guys this this is what i used to use as setting spray oh my god if you know you know but yeah that is the final look i am so happy with how it turned out it's like kind of grunge but kind of glam i love it so thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a thing or two. Let me know if you try to follow this makeup tutorial or what you liked, what you didn't like. Let me know down below. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you did like this. Thanks guys.